my name is Tela Kimani. I'm a clinical nutritionist. Um, so welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this channel, we'll be covering all things nutrition and health. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so on the tab below. And also please turn on the notifications button so that every time uh, we upload a new video, you get the notification that we have uploaded it. And that way you'll be able to keep um, up to date with your nutrition and also get new information about nutrition. Welcome to my channel. So what is nutrition? Um, how does nutrition affect your health? How does the daily food choices affect your current health and also future health? And also for the ladies, how does your health and your nutrition choices affect that of your children? Yeah. So what is nutrition? Nutrition is not just what we eat, but it's how your body or our bodies use what we eat. So for instance, if um, today you decide to eat your plate of ugali or rice uh, with sukumawiki and a protein, yeah? How is that food going to be digested in your body? How is it going to be used in your body in order to either body build, which is repairing of new cells? How is it going to give you energy to do your daily activities? And also, are you getting the vegetables and fruits that will give you the vitamins and minerals that will help you in terms of fighting disease, preventing disease so that it does not occur in the first place? And also, especially for people who may have um, you know, a family background of certain medical conditions, how does your health or how does your daily nutrition nutrition choices, make sure that you actually do not develop um, those particular diseases. So let's start with the basics of nutrition. So everything that you eat on a daily basis is classified in different um, food groups. So we have carbohydrates, we have protein, uh, we have vitamins, uh, we have minerals which are classified as the micronutrients, and then we have water and also the fats. Okay, sometimes people believe, you know, fats are good or um, fats are bad. In fact, most people have demonized fat. But not all fat is bad, as you're going to be discussing in um, these videos. So, in terms of the, one, the first one I mentioned, the carbohydrate. So, what is carbohydrate and how does it affect your health? Yeah? So, carbohydrate is actually the food that provides us with the energy that we need in order to run our day-to-day -day activities and also to be able to make sure that your organs are actually running, okay? So if today you decided not to eat carbohydrate for the next couple of days, you're definitely going to have some side effects and probably one of uh, the major side effects is going to be reduction in energy levels and also, you know, just feeling lethargic or fatigued, you know, that general feeling of uh, tiredness. So carbohydrate is very, very important for us because it provides us the energy, it's the primary source of energy for the body. So if you're diabetic, in our consequent videos when you're discussing the different types of diabetes, I'll be able to discuss with you guys how um, carbohydrate affects your sugars and also the best type of carbohydrate to choose, okay? So let's go to the second type of uh, nutrient, which is the protein. Now, protein as we know it, we have plant-based and animal-based protein. So plant-based proteins are like the beans, the lentils, um, minji or peas. Um, we have a couple of plant-based proteins, uh, most of which, you know, the most available is probably the beans, the, the peas or the lentils. Um, so those have a difference. They are different from the animal-based protein, okay? So the animal-based protein have... Um, what we call complete amino acids. So in terms of protein, protein when you eat maybe the beans or the, the meat, when it gets into your body, it's broken down to what is called amino acids, okay? So there are different types of amino acids. There are, you know, more than 10 of them. And each of them has a role in the body. So when you eat the plant-based protein, they're usually called incomplete protein because they do not usually have the complete balance of amino acids that we actually require on a daily basis. So what does that mean? That does not mean that you cannot eat plant-based protein because I know some of us are vegetarian or maybe, you know, vegans or lacto-ovo vegetarians. So you, you can still get your complete amino acids with, you know, being on a vegetarian diet, even if you're using the plant-based protein, but the key to that is making sure that you interchange them, okay? So if maybe for one meal you take uh, beans, in the next meal then you need to take a different type of protein, something like, um, peas or 
um, lentils because again, as I mentioned, they have a difference, uh, a different balance of the amino acids. The animal-based protein, I do not have a problem with because they they are complete protein. But always watch out for the fat. Now that is the other thing that can really cause a problem when it comes to um, the the plant-based protein. Some of them are high in fat, especially the meat. So when you're choosing the animal-based protein, please make sure that you're choosing the lean meat and not the part that has the fat. Mm -hmm.